Welcome back my fellow farmers to another episode of Farming Simulator 2013. I've got no idea where this episode will end up because we've been doing quite a little bit since we last met. So let's go ahead and assign the rest of our workers onto missions. I think it's just this guy. And talking about this guy, this sower or cedar is supposedly a fertilizer. Is what it says in the uh, description of when you buy things in the shop. Let's see. Well, oh, thankfully that went through the actual tree, the little ridge marker. But this, in the description, it mentions it that it's a fertilizer as well as a sower. But really, this is just a cultivator as well as a sower, which is incredibly confusing. Thank you guys for picking that out for me. Uh, what I did notice is that a fertilizer actually doubles the yield of your crop. That's a really, really good. I never knew that, I thought it was only about 30% or so. It actually doubles your crop. So if you go to the shop, and this is what I'm complaining about. The Amazon k 6001. Why are we looking at Amazon products? We don't want to look at uh, company products. We just want to have a look at just all sewing machines. This one, the AD, no, sorry, the k 6001. It says it's divided into two parts, 60 to 40 ratio, and equipped with two fully electric drive metering systems. Seat and fertilizer are placed together into the seed furrow by the same delivery route. So I thought that it was fertilizing, even though the color wasn't coming up. So maybe I just thought that because it, I don't know, puts it into the supposed furrow, whatever the hell that is in the game. I've got no idea. But supposedly it was supposed to fertilize. But it doesn't mention anything about cultivating. It just says sowing wheat, barley, canola, or grass. But it does cultivate, as we can see clearly right now with these uh, little stems of canola disappearing. Once we go ahead and sow on over here. There we go. It's completely sown and over here there's the little stems. So that's kind of really, really annoying. I really don't like that. Hope they patch that up or improve it because it's really frustrating. But we've been playing for a very, very long time since we've last met because if we go to our statistics, just guess how much canola we've got. Now that you've taken a guess, oh yes, also I do have my maximum amount of eggs. There's 57, we'll go ahead and collect them all. So that is the maximum amount of eggs that you can have. But we've got 237,000 liters of canola which is a heck of a large amount. I'm just waiting for a, a great demand on canola. If it'll be about two times great demand, then that would be so good. That'll give us about, well, what's two times four is 800. Well, well eight, so they'd be, I'd say 800, no, probably $900,000. So, <laughs> mate, we'd be swimming in all our money. We'd be able to pay off our loan, buy fields, as well as start harvesting potatoes, which is something that I really want to do. Although I don't think I'll be able to do it this episode because I'm still waiting on that great demand. But what we will do is we won't go to the sewing machines. What we will do is, because I've got so many tons of the canola, we'll need to transport, transport it back and forth a heck of a lot of times. So what I'll do is I'll buy, if I can finally get there, tippers there we go we'll go get the Prempe big body 900 so this can be attached to any tractor uh, then you can also get a attachment a trailer attachment uh, a Sega Uno or a Sega Duo and they enable you press they enable you to go ahead and attach this trailer to the back which is 61,000 liters capacity whereas this is only 46,000 they're both really good how much is this? That's only 55, so... Yeah, I'd rather go for just the Crampe Big Body. Although, you know what? I'm actually tempted to try this out. You know, you can attach regular semi-trailers. There is only one semi-trailer. Which is that. The Kroger Agro Liner. So, you know what? I'm not exactly sure what the difference is, apart from uh, the maintenance, I guess. You know what? We can just splurge. Whatever. We'll pay for this as well. Okay, so that'll help us out greatly. Let's have a quick check on our new toys. Spawn them back on our garage. Okay. Okay, this is a good vehicle to actually test. It's all on. Oh, so 
because I was uh, like going ahead and harvesting and planting all the, the different fields, I just leave it onto 120 times speed when it's the plants are growing. Because now I know that uh, the fields grow perfectly out when I do it in real time, do it really slow, and then you do it quickly um, when they're growing. I uh, accidentally left it on for too long and the canola withered away. It was actually really cool because uh, it looked like snow had fallen on that crop, but it was all dead, unfortunately. Let's have a good test of this. If I can actually think of how to do this. I always suck at reversing with trailers. Talk about reversing with trailers, I should go ahead and keep playing some Euro Truck Simulator. I know many of you do want to see that. But that should be good enough. Oh, that's close. Let's straighten it out a little bit more. Yes! Alright, success. Wow, this is going to be able to carry a lot. I'm actually quite happy that we can do that without a real problem. Ah, and that's nice. What you, what you also can do is with the big body red uh, trailers that we have, well, we have one of them. You can actually connect all your trailers up one after each other, so you can have a massive train system of trailers, which is kind of neat. Although, don't even make me try to attempt to connect a couple of trailers up because I struggle with just one. Uh, so, what we can do is what is what's important to do is just to disattach the, the duo, Sega duo, or whatever it's called. So, we have that selected now. We we'll press Q. And at least now it's connected to the trailer, so that's good. Uh, but what we want to do is collect the 57 eggs. So these are all the different spawn points of the eggs. We have a field day. They're all like at regular intervals. They're all equidistant to each other. Same distance. Right. Eggs everywhere. It sort of does suck that there's 57. If only they would like bulk up in the same spot so you could pick up five at a time in the exact same spot. That would be neat. I wonder how many 57 eggs will actually sell for. That'd be interesting to me. For everywhere. Oh man. can actually check how many are left by going through to here. There's four more eggs left. One right over here. Another one. They're probably hiding somewhere. I'm probably missing them, but they're not really that important to get all of them. We're going to be selling a lot. So let's go back to vehicles. I'm going to pick the wet up. It is nice that we have the trailer, although it won't, probably won't be getting a use this episode, we'll just wait ahead until we get a great demand on some canola because we've got a ton of it. I've been reading a lot on the forums, on the official farming simulator forums and supposedly, yeah, I know there's massive sales, supposedly there is a um, silo, like once you have a certain amount or uh, when your crops have been too long in the silo, they do die off, supposedly. I'm not exactly 100% sure. I've been reading conflicting posts on the forum as we take out that guy. They gotta love their determination just to get the point that he wants to go to. So, we're at $75,000. So, really? $2,000 or so? That's nothing. Alright, so, what I'm probably going to do is go back to my city if I can drive properly like there's no gravity in this land of Hagenstadt geez that lady just looking like she had a good date with her boyfriend last night let's go over to yeah let's go over to our farm I'm just really tempted to go ahead and start selling the canola but I know it would be so much more worth it if we waited it out oh really you blocked all this area off Yes, do it. No. What if we get rid of the weight? No. Oh. Thankfully, we have this. 
So. Yeah, I turned off missions as well. They do get annoying. And with props, it's just so much easier. And especially with that solar collector giving us money continuously. Let's move you out of the way. Yeah, having a full field of just white crop looks quite amazing. It would be really cool to see some cotton mods. I'm not even sure if there were any for Farming Simulator 2011. But I do know you can convert them. Well, I think it's actually pretty simple to convert them. I might do a video on that. But the other videos I think will come after straight after this video. Because I'm just going to be waiting until we get the uh, canola crate to man. Because it's taking us it's damn time. Let's see what other statistics there are. There are a couple of fields on sale. Whatever. Nothing special. Nothing too spectacular. This guy's taking forever. See, what we should have invested in is, instead of using that... See, if I never know, would have known that this cultivates, what I would have saved up for is I would have saved up for the really good sower. This one, $155,000. And that's 15 meters length. That's almost three times more than this one. So to speed up things so much more. But no. I had to be an idiot. So... We're back here. Let's go to... Let's just fill up a tractor full of canola. I just want to fill it up. That's all I want to do. I just want to see how much possibly could be in here. Like 60 or so thousand tons. That just doesn't seem right. Probably should have worn... Don't really need weights for this though, do you? It's going to take its damn time, so let's go to... Oh, there we go. Wait, why did I go to Bali? That is a good question. Let's see if we can actually tip this out. I wonder. That's a good question. I'm actually glad I selected Bali then. Because we're going to have to tip it out, if we can. Well, you'd have to be able to tip it out. So how else would you sell it? This is going to be interesting to see, though, how it all works. Oh, really? Does it even lift up? That's a bit unrealistic. Oh, well. So, canola is the second one, sorry. I just got so used to barley because I was using that for a long time, and now we're back to canola. The numbers look like they're barely moving at all. So, just how much we've got gonna take its time we'll just go ahead and go to the sower so after this we'll go ahead and fertilize this field we'll need to go ahead and fertilize this one but this episode's just gonna be a real quick one just to tell you guys where we're at uh, just so you guys don't feel that I'm leaving you guys out but there's not really that much that's happening so far I'm just continuously doing my best to get money which we will make a heck of a lot although I'm just waiting on that great demand to double the money that we could make from all that canola and then we'll be having field 17 we'll be harvesting and planting potatoes and probably sugar beets actually we'll go for sugar beets because they pay off a little bit better but yeah, that definitely does pay off a lot. I think I was reading on a forum on this field, uh, field, what is it, 17? No, field 14, sorry. Field 14 has about, I think it was field 14. If you plant uh, all of it as sugar beets or potatoes, it's about 86,000 litres uh, of potatoes in one field, in that field. That is crazy. We only get about 18,000 worth of canola when it's fertilized so you make a lot from potatoes even though they don't sell much per ton it do, does work out uh, what else I'm interested in and I'll actually just move over my massive trailer there it is that's awful I wonder how fast we'll be moving oh this is pretty powerful I'm actually not complaining that's pretty sweet uh, what else I'm interested in in this scene if I can use this massive trailer 
for my harvester if the harvester's arms will actually reach onto this and over so we can go ahead and deposit straight from the harvester into this massive tipper. That would be neat. The arm of the harvester just makes be popped up. Let's get first person mode. Check out our back, that's looking pretty damn nuts. Try not hit anything, let's get back out of here. Yep, I think we will be able to. That is good news. Yes. Oh, that is good stuff. That is brilliant stuff. I wonder as well, no, I don't think you'd be able to connect another trailer to the back of this with the Sigma or you know whatever it's called. I already forget the name. So many names. Unfortunately, sure we're going to get in your way. But I want to start driving to the canola field just for the sake of driving there. Actually, you know what? Let's have a bit of fun and just block the cars off. Let's see how long the waiting line will be, if there actually will be one. Okay, what else can we do? Not much really. So I think that'll be the end of the episode. It's a bit uneventful, but just a little catch up as to where we are. I'll continue going ahead and plowing and harvesting all these fields. It's taking its time, but it all adds up. So you guys will see how, just how much money we'll be making once we start selling the canola, hopefully at a great demand and price. Did that car just disappear? There's a blue car right over here. I'm not exactly sure where it went. It must have disappeared because it's nowhere to be seen. But with the magical disappearing car, we'll have to end it there, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll be back very shortly with some more episodes of Farming Simulator.